Uh, people have asked me, uh, relative to my work, uh, why are there multiple models relative to instruction? And actually, there's a very straightforward answer in my head. Um, uh, I have to set this answer up though. Uh, there are two purposes to uh, teacher evaluation. One purpose is for development. Another purpose is for measurement. And those are very different purposes. Uh, uh, if you're looking at uh, teacher observation in, uh, from the perspective of development, you want a lot of elements there. You want the comprehensive um, uh, you want the comprehensive landscape of what good teaching is. Uh, the model for that is the art and science of teaching, actually the new art and science of teaching. Uh, if you want a model that's highly efficient and easy and quick to do for the measurement process, well then you have very few categories. Uh, now if you want a model that's right in the middle, uh, that allows you for focused feedback to teachers and very efficient feedback to teachers, but has enough uh, of, the lands of the complete landscape of teaching uh, that teachers can identify things they want to work on, that's where the new focused teacher evaluation model comes in and the essentials model. That's meant to be used for both. It can be done very efficiently as a measurement model, uh, but it also includes the breadth of what we know about good teaching. So it was a model, and I think the only one created with this in mind, that allows you, allows you to do both. You know, very focused measurement of teachers, but also allows for teacher development in the broad, away, broad array of instructional strategies.